Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you gave a bride to Adam and sent your son to rescue his bride. And today, as we observe the uh, profound mystery of marriage, we pray that you would send your spirit to lighten the darkness of our hearts so that the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts collectively here today may be, may be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. We pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. So won't you kiss me goodnight Cause I'll be cold in the morning light I just wanna tell you that I need you one more time So let me one more time I'm Bradley take you, Megan, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. Kiss me goodnight, cause I'll be cold with the morning light. I just want to tell you that I love you one more time. I, Megan, take you, Bradley, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. So kiss me goodnight, cause I'll be gone in the morning light. I just wanna hear you say you need me one more time. Kiss me goodnight, cause I'll be gone in the morning light. Just wanna tell you that I need you one more time. Let me one more time Oh, like oil and water Oh, in love like oil and water Friends, today we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of Brad and Megan in marriage. Marriage was established and given by God at creation, blessed by the Lord Jesus Christ, and not to be separated by man. Brad, in taking Megan to be your wife before God and the witnesses present, will you promise to love her, to honor and cherish her, leave all others and cleave only unto her, and be to her in all things a true and faithful husband till death do you part? I will. Megan, in taking Brad to be your husband before God and the witnesses present, will you promise to love him, to honor and cherish him, to leave all others and cleave only unto him, and be to him in all things a true and faithful wife? Till death do you part. I will. So now Brad and Megan have chosen an act the symbol of the three-stranded rope. And when I asked Megan why the symbol, she said, well, because of Ecclesiastes 4.12, the scripture which states that a three-fold cord is not quickly broken. 
Brad and Megan, now that you have given yourselves to each other by the promises you have exchanged, as a minister of the gospel, I pronounce you to be husband and wife. Brad, you may kiss your bride. I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brad Hall. There's no one in this world I'd rather have as my brother. And I love him a lot. And there's no one I'd rather watch Moneyball with when we're about to go to sleep. So I love you, Brad. And I love you guys. And I wish the best for you. My greatest wish for you two is that through the years, your love for each other will so deepen and grow that years from now, you'll look back on this day, your wedding day, as the day you loved each other least. Here's to Megan and Bradley and loving each other more and more every day.